Hey guys, Mushroom Deku here, and I am back with another Lego creation. Um, I've been building with Legos since I was three, and uh, here's what I've done. I made a Lego claw machine that you can actually turn and drop down and do a whole bunch of cool stuff with it. Now, uh, last video I cannot show you guys how to actually make the thing because first of all it was too big and second of all it would be way too kind of time consuming because that gumball machine took me about two three days to make so yeah this one only took me a few hours but i figured out how to do this because i was just breaking everything and i was just raging and stuff and that's the reason why i couldn't like build this so um now inside um you can see that uh, we have like a little open spot to put stuff in. Um, the, the, the only thing I could really find is Skittles, but uh, it has picking stuff up before like broken pencils. And I highly doubt I'm gonna get these Skittles, but if I do, well, I do. All right, so yeah, let's try it out. So uh, let's get this. Hang on. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna be. Ah, uh, well. I'm not going to be able to get it, but I can show you guys like how it's made real quick. First, I have this little tower thingy that uh that's about um four by four, so it's about four by four. Uh, leave a little space in between here. Uh, I don't. I did not have a whole bunch of three pieces, so I cannot really. Well, you use a two by four. I use a. 2x4 for the uh, thick part, and then a 1x4 for the uh, thin part, so, here, and, um, for the claw, I used um, a big wheel, and then uh, I used this claw thingy right here, now, um, I use, I give it a bit of space so you can, like, move it back and forth, so, yeah, and then, um, so let me show you how to make the, um, little, this, this, this thing real quick. So, um, first you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. First you're going to tower up seven. And you are, um, seven, um, two by fours. And you are going to put it on the edge like that. And then you're going to tower up seven one by fours and then put it on the very end like that now for the wall um hang on now ah. these are one of these old legos so i can't like okay here we go for the base for the base plate i suggest a one no one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I recommend a ten by ten for the base plate, and I recommend some thin blocks for this and a few thick blocks. Um, and if you have any three by fours, which I highly doubt anyone has, um, try to use one of these slants if you don't have one. So um, what you're gonna do is tower up three. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you're gonna tower up three one by tens. You're gonna put it on uh, one of the edges like so. And the next, you're gonna tower up three two by fours. Put it on the edge like that. Use and then use um. Hang on. Ah, uh, derp. Herpy derp. I don't remember how I had this. All right, so here we go. And then you're gonna, you're actually gonna put it on the edge like that. And then what you're gonna do is tower up three, um, three two by eights. Wait, I just put two by fours together to create a two by eight. And then uh, you're gonna put it on like that. And then you are going to take your last piece and put it on like that. And what you're gonna do is you are gonna take three of these and tower them on top of each other, so in the end, they are going to look like this. And then you are going to put it about right 
turn it around. I'm gonna put it right here. So then, like, it looks like this. And then gonna, what you're gonna do is take your piece that looks like this and then put it on like that. Oops. Oops. Okay, this, this is what happened the first time I, I did this. Not go so well. So let me see if I can put it on real quick. So. Can watch me go do it. Ah. Honestly, guys, this is a replay of, like, the first time I did this. I swear, this is exactly what happened the first time around. The wall came off, so put the wall back on. And you're going to take about... Hang on. Let, let me measure with my thumb, because your thumb is one inch long. So, one, two, three, four. So, about four inches of this. This piece. And what you're going to do is stick a tire on the end like this. And you're going to take one of these pieces, or any hold piece, slide it on, and just a little, or a bit more than a little, so about right there. And then you're going to take your claw, if you have one, and then stick it right in there. Hang on, wait. I need to put it in here first. So I suggest, like, putting it kind of like that on the edge, on the end like that. So then you take your claw, you put it on, and you take a second piece, and then you put it right, oops, oops, right near the claw like that, and then just push it in a bit, and then boom, you have a claw machine. So uh, use the wheel to go up and down. And Use your hand to control the claw and how it goes, and yeah, it's basically how it works, guys. So, uh, if you like this, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a like. Um, live a wonderful life in the mycelium mushroom. Have a good time in the club. Gecko was in. Keep those gems shining, everyone. Gecko out. Boop. Thank you guys for watching.